Hi guys, this is Karen. Welcome to another exciting video. Now, I've been playing lately too much with the pastel palette by Natasha Denona that I have neglected all of my other palettes. So, you remember this palette by Kaleidos? It's called the Club Nebula in collaboration with Angelica Nyquist. Well, it's time to play with it because, as I said, I've been neglecting my palettes and I haven't used this palette for a very long time. So why not use it today? Let's just see it again because we kind of forgot how it looked like. Let's just show it to you like this. To play with Nova here and these greens and turquoise and blues so let's create something fun because this is why we're here to do something fun and i'm going to use my refer brushes this is my refer brush number 14. i have three refer brushes let's just pull them out i have three i have number 14 15, no, 14, 16, and 2. These are the ones that I have. Wait, it doesn't want to zoom in. Oh, it zoomed in, but you can't really see. Okay. 14, 16, and 0, 2. This is how they look like. And I'm going to take number 14 and go with the shade seven of nine That's strange names i don't remember why she called it seven of nine this one here so yeah let's take that one don't remember yeah they do have a lot of fallout i already primed my eyelids with my la girl High definition eyeshadow primer. I can't believe that I remember the name. So I'm just adding it above my crease. I think that I took on this side more than I took on the other side. But this brush is perfect for this above the crease kind of way. It's good for hooded eyes and unfortunately I have hooded eyes. Okay, I can just put here, hmm, I can do like that. Okay, this is nice, very nice, but I really need to take number 16 and just fluff it away. A bit fluff it away yeah that's just a great way to explain that I'm blending it so let's fluff it away <laughs> I'm fluffing it away yeah consider yourself fluffed <laughs> okay let's take another brush this is not refer and I'm going to go with Queen of Blades which is this dark green here just a tiny bit to the outer corner of each eye let's take off the axis and this is a beautiful dark green just a tiny bit to give this look some dimension and i love the fact that it has a very big comfortable mirror So I'm just adding it to the outer corner, let's say quarter or third of the lid, just like that. Yeah, okay. Now I want to take, let's say with the other side of the brush, gravity, which is the green, light green here. This is an avocado green and taking it on the same brush. Just on the other side, it, there is fallout, of course, and 
I'm applying it next to the shade that you just applied next to Queen of Blades this is a beautiful green avocado shade kind of makes me want to have some avocado now some guacamole yeah and I'm just using this shade to kind of blend between the shades and I really hope that you can't hear the horrible noise from outside because it is horrible now I'm going to take Firefly this is Firefly here so I used this one above my crease this one at the outer corner this one next to this one and now I'm taking this one so from the same row and I'm applying it with my finger look at that beautiful shade you have to zoom in wait for it wait for it yeah no <laughs> okay gorgeous did I show you this or I showed you my nail polish <laughs> they look the same <laughs> not the same but I thought for a second that I got mistaken and look at that this is just gorgeous and it applies like a dream like a dream why did i want to go green maybe because of the shirt i'm wearing which is type of green i don't know but i really felt like doing green let's just live swatch it this is just gorgeous i love the quality of the colitis this is perfect now since I'm not going anywhere, we can do lower lash line. Where did I put? Oh, here. Number two brush. And I'm taking Astro. Astro is this beautiful shade here. And I'm going to do it on the lower lash line. No fallout. Let's look at this mirror here. And I guess this is much better when you use it with your finger but I'm not sure that my fingers are that tiny to work for the lower lash line you really need to have very 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 small fingers so I'm just adding it to the lower lash line the outer corner of the lower lash line and I'm flipping it to the clean side and taking from Nova and this here is Nova this Nova let's take Nova on the other side of the brush and add it oh I remember Nova to being it's completely different I hope you're seeing I'm just looking at the mirror and I'm wondering if you can see what I'm doing so this is the perfect brush for the under eyes in my opinion I really love it for the under eye area and now for the inner corner I want to take your my only hope Where are we? This one. You're my only hope. And taking that on a pencil brush. I don't know. This is a pencil brush. No, it's not a pencil brush. I don't know why I thought it is. Where's my pencil brush? Let's take this brush. It's a tiny brush. Let's take it and add it to the your dot I 
this is just a gorgeous shimmer as you can see wow this is gorgeous now i really need to blend i haven't blended and we need to blend so i'm taking my blending brush and just blending it a bit like that you know just to make it more cohesive and when it's blended it's usually better sometimes i forget to blend or sometimes i'm too lazy to blend but it is better to blend so i just blended a tiny bit wow hmm. wow 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 why am i not using this more why this is so gorgeous and such high quality hmm. okay let's take my mirror my magnify mirror my mascara golden rose lash effect right no golden rose false lashes mascara i invented a new name for this mascara so let's pop in some mascara and i will be right back i'm back i added mascara on the top lashes and bottom lashes but not too excessive just a tiny bit just a very just one layer i didn't want to over exaggerate with the mascara so you can see how beautiful it is <laughs> i think it turned out gorgeous now i'm going to come closer and we can see that closer this is just beautiful i forgot how much i love this palette and i think the kaleidos formula is really really good this is gorgeous i think that it turned out so beautifully and i have to say that quality wise i mean this is a okay let's rewind <laughs> um just continuing my thoughts and you're not inside my head so rewind for a second this as i said is a collaboration between kaleidos and the youtuber angelica nyquist angelica recently did a collaboration also with uden's eye and the name of the palette is hella so this is hella this is a collaboration of Angelica Nyquist and Uden's Eye, and this is the Club Nebula collaboration between Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist. Now, I love the color schemes of both palettes. This Club Nebula is just. I, this is such a gorgeous color scheme gorgeous and i kind of forgot that i have it and i kind of forgot that i haven't used it for a long time now the hella i have been using recently quite a bit because you know it's relatively new this is how it looks like this one is also gorgeous gorgeous color scheme but if i am comparing the quality and i'm just talking about quality both color schemes i like if i'm comparing quality i think kaleidos wins it by a long shot shimmers in kaleidos in my opinion are better than the shimmers in uden's eye hella palette but this is just personal preference i think these shimmers work better for me definitely definitely work better for me i mean look at that look at that shimmer here in the inner corner this green and the lower lash line and it is all dry brushes just dry brushes i didn't wet anything and this is with my finger here and but at the lower lash line it's a dry brush and they are perfect and unfortunately at with Hella, I had a harder time to get these shimmers to work as the Kaleidos work. But as I said, this is just personal opinion. 
my opinion, my personal experience. Maybe you rock the Hella better than the Kaleidos. I don't know, do you have both? Let me know in the comment section down below if you have both palettes. Which one did you like the best? Uh, color scheme wise, quality wise, both were collaboration with Angelica, which is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love watching her. I just love watching her. And I got this one at the third release. The first I completely lost. I didn't know about Angie at all. And the second when I saw her video, I wanted to buy it, but it was out of stock. So when it restocked the third time, I got it. The Hella I got at the first launch. Learning from a mistake about the Kaleidos. I'm so glad I got the Kaleidos. Now I have another palette by Kaleidos. Uh, that I really really like, really love the quality of Kaleidos. Uh, I have three, four more palettes from Uden's Eye. I have to say that I do like the quality of Kaleidos better, not just for Hella, but in general. Again, personal preferences. Okay, what do you think about the look? Do you love it? I think it turned out beautifully. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and join my family here on YouTube. Don't forget, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video. Let's just see this beautifulness again. This is just gorgeous. Can you see that? Yeah, this is just gorgeous color scheme and great quality. Really, really love it. Okay, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.